here, let's take a selfie. <laughs> While we're recording. Love it. Cheater! I'm not cheating. Or am I? <laughs> Some of these, I don't even know, that's really sad. <laughs> See, but these are all ones that you know. Wait, are you doing this? <laughs> What's going on you guys? It's your boy RC Martinez and I'm alongside Heidi. Heidi. Hi. If you guys remember, we did How Well Does She Know Salvadorian Slang? And she actually did pretty good. I'm very impressed. He still owes me the I <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Called me out. We're here because as she mentioned in her last video, she's half Peruvian and half Italian. Yeah. So I thought, why not do the same thing, but Peruvian style? And she's gonna be asking me phrases or words, and I have to try to guess what they mean, I guess, in her language. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, before anything else, let's get this video started. Two hours later. I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> 20 minutes later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay. What's a chonchudo? Wow. A chonchudo. Chonchudo. Is it a phrase? Is it a person? It's Is a it type, a food? It's a, it's a type of person. Chonchudo. Chonchudo. <laughs> Un chonchudo. <laughs> Someone that is like tacaño, like greedy. No, not exactly. Am I warm or cold? You're pretty cold. <laughs> this is hard. Now, See, I, now, now I know. Now now that, yeah. Yes. Um, By the way, I promised him that if he wins, how many? Five. Oh, okay. Because I won five. Okay, okay, okay. Then I have to buy him ceviche. Yes. I love ceviche. <laughs> Can I get another guess? Uh -huh. or another, another. Sorry, another clue. Um, I'll say it in a sentence. Okay, dale. Ese es un chonchudo. Oh my god. It's like me saying, I'm like, listen to the tone. I'm like, listen to the tone. Oh, okay, okay. Do it again. No, no, you're right. <laughs> what if I give you three, like, like I give you multiple choices? Yes, that it was. A person who is vulnerable, a person who is shameless, or a person who is cheap. Not the first one. It's either shameless or cheap. But the way that you said cheap. <laughs> Are you trying to like make me guess that when it really isn't that? <laughs> You're quite the detective. <laughs> hey, come on. Damn. So He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna not listen to myself and say it's cheap. Oh, you should have listened to Oh me. my god! <laughs> you were right! Yeah, shameless, huh? Yeah. Next one. Bamba. Bamba. Come on. Ba -la 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 -bamba. <laughs> you know you're you singing that. Saying <laughs> Put it in a sentence at least. Eso es bamba. That's stupid. Eh. Give me multiple choice. Cause okay. Something that's fake or Im imitation. B. Something that's super exciting. Something that's like really loud. What was the first one again? <laughs> <laughs> See? I'm smart. <laughs> It's something that's no, loud. It means, it's something that's no, loud. It means, something no, that's, it means, your last one, your last one. Wrong! It was the first one! Damn it! Why are you doing this? Baba, something that's fake or imitation. Oh my god. I guess I'm not getting the CPG. <laughs> <laughs> Chato. Chato. So we have Chato in El Salvador. Chato, I believe, is somebody that has a small nose. No. Okay, so that's not. <laughs> That's not what I was gonna say. Give me multiple choice. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. A. Talkative. B. Rambunctious. Or C. Short. Short. Yay! Yes. Finally. Yes. Chela. So in Mexico, I'm giving you guys some like very knowledgeable stuff here, man. All right. So in Mexico, chela is a beer. That's correct. Yay! Yes. What's a churro? I mean, I'm pretty sure a churro is something that you eat. Yeah, I'm craving one, but that's wrong. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. It's a person. Wow, I, I never heard this term before. Really? Yeah. They also say, ese es un churrazo, o ese es una churraza. Like somebody cool, like that guy's like, vergon, like he's it's a cool person. Not exactly. A really annoying person, a really wealthy person, or a really attractive person. I think I'm going to go with an attractive person. Yes! Yes, that's what it is. So when you say, ese es un churro, or ese es una churra, like it means like, that's, oh no, sorry, it only, it only pertains to guys. 
Yo no churras, yo no, no churras. No churras, it's just for guys. Pituco. A pituco. I'm gonna need multiple choice. A, someone who is metrosexual. B, someone who is very nosy. C, someone who is very snobby. I'm gonna say snobby. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. It's someone who's arrogant. When you say, ese es un pituco, it means someone who's rich. Roche. Roche. Is that a phrase? Yeah. Are you cheating? No! Do you have like eyes at the side of your head? No! Phrase is, que roche. Que roche. Honestly, no. Multiple choice? Yeah, do multiple choice. Is it A, what a shame? B, what a day, like what a like hectic day, or C, like what a situation. I think it's the last one. Wrong! It's what a shame. <laughs> okay, okay, que roche, like. What a shame. Do you know what papaya means? Papaya means a double chin. No. Or is that fruit? <laughs> it is a fruit, obviously, but. You have that as a. Something else. Okay. It's a part of the body. Your belly. Mm -mm. Your butt. Uh -uh. A female sexual organ. <laughs> <laughs> like you're yeah really I literally, damn papaya <laughs> learned that the hard way because we went to Cuba and like in Cuba because we like my mom is Peruvian but she's never used it like that okay we went to Cuba and like it, my mom's like I'd like some papaya please and like the man looked at her funny and was like what <laughs> she's like I'd like some papaya and he's like man don't say that do you know what that means and then they told us and it was really embarrassing no but she meant the fruit because she's obsessed with the fruit well guys you know what my battery is dying. <laughs> 